Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. <clears throat> this is a set based on optimization of values. It says that uh, there is an election in which there are five contestants A, B, C, D, E. The total number of votes in five rounds are given. And we are also given the person who received the maximum and the minimum votes and the maximum and minimum votes received in each of the rounds. Now it is also given that the maximum and minimum number of votes for each round are unique. Okay. So uh, this is the table given to us and based on this we have to answer the questions. So in this kind of questions we basically need to find out that the possible values of remaining three people. So we, we are given maximum A, minimum E. What about B, C, D? So they will have a certain range of votes. So for each round we will have to find that range. Okay, so this is how we shall do it. So let us fill uh, the things that is uh, known to us that A got 43 in round 1. And uh, E got 10. In second round, C got 32 while B got 11. In the third round, B got 56 while D got 8. In the fourth round, D got 69 and A got 12. And in the fifth round, E got 66 and A got 17 votes. Now, we will for each round, we will find the range of these remaining three people. So, for example, first round, the total votes are 100 and these are 53 votes. So, 100 minus 53 that is 47 okay now how do we do this suppose uh, the minimum is 10 okay now the second person can get minimum 11 okay so minimum let's say we have to find minimum and maximum so minimum a person can get 11 okay if a person gets 11 then second person can also get 11 because it is unique only for these votes right others may have same values so, one person get minimum 11, second will get minimum 11. So, this will give us the maximum possible. That is 45, 25 will be the max. Okay. So, if you have to find minimum and maximum. So, if you have to find the maximum, we minimize the other two. So, minimum 11, 11 is possible. Maximum 25 is possible. So, the range possible is 11 to 25. So, minimum someone will get 11 votes. Maximum someone will get 25 votes. Okay, now talking about round 2. So, round 2, 43 votes are done, total of. Okay, 43 are done, total is 120. 120 minus 43, that gives us 77. Okay, now if we see this part, let us say if you take minimum here, minimum if you take 12 and then 12, right, we see that, okay, this is going beyond this 32. Okay, so here we took minimum as 11, here we will take a cap from maximum. So instead of finding the minimum, we will find the two maximum values. So two maximum values will be 31, second maximum will be 31 and then minimum will give us. So in this case, we will have max, max, min. Why? Because if we are taking minimum, we are taking the constant from minimum side, we are unable to reach this value. In this case, we did it minimum because अगर यहाँ पे maximum से करते हैं तो ये से ज़्यादा हो जाता है। Like if we took 42 here, let us say if we take 42, so 53 plus 42 95, only 5 would be left which could not be fit. So we have to see if from which end should we do from minimum end or maximum end. So in this case we will take 15 to 31. So the range is 15 to 31. So for these three, they can have any values in between. Then third round that is 64 and total is of 105 okay so if we take 9 9 so 105 minus 64 that is 41 so we can take 9 9 and 23 so we have the range from 9 to 23 likewise for fourth round we are already done with 81 total is 140 that is 59 so minimum if we take 13 and another minimum 13, 26, then 33. So 13 to 33 will be the range in 
this one as well. If you get, let's do for the last round. Eighty-three are done, and we need sixty-seven more. And if you take the minimum, eighteen, 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 thirty-six plus thirty-one, sixty-seven. So the range is eighteen to thirty-one for all three people. Okay. Now the next process in this will be. So this I hope you must have got ki how do we find the minimum and maximum. Now we will add these, right? So we will see the questions. Now this this is the range of totals. So we will take the minimum and the maximum and get the range of possible totals for this. Okay. So if we add this, if we take uh, sixty seventy two is fixed. From this, if we take twenty four, that is ninety six. And fifty four, so seventy two plus fifty four is one twenty six. So this is the possible range for A, right? So likewise, uh, we will find the possible ranges for others. So uh, this sixty seven is fixed. Now if we say twenty four, forty two. So it can be hundred and nine, and twenty five fifty eight eighty nine eighty nine plus sixty seven one fifty six. So this can be the complete range. Okay. Similarly, here <clears throat> if we take forty-three, fifty-two, fifty-two plus thirty-one, that is eighty-three. Fifty-seven, uh, fifty-seven plus twenty-three, eighty. Eighty plus sixty-four, one forty-four. So this is the entire possible range for C. Okay. Uh, Seventy-seven is fixed. Twenty-six uh, and forty-four, one twenty-one. <clears throat> okay, and if you take the upper cap, fifty six and uh, eighty seven, eighty seven plus seventy seven, that is one sixty four. So this is the possible range for D. Similarly, let us find for E seventy six fixed hundred one one three. This is the minimum possible votes, and maximum possible is forty one sixty four, sixty four plus ninety nine one sixty three. So this gives us the range. So this is a range, right? We cannot determine the exact votes of this, right? So first question is find the least number of votes received by A in all the five rounds together. So least is ninety six. So that is the least possible number of votes. Least we can find. We can find the most, and we cannot find the values in between. Okay? We can just. I mean, we we do not know the values. So that could that would depend on others as well. Okay? Now, if the question is, if C received one forty four votes in all the five rounds altogether, then find the number of votes received by B in all the five rounds altogether. Now, the thing here is, this will give us a perception that the answer cannot be determined, right? But let us think logically that if C received one forty four votes, that means C has hit the highest point. So, if C received twenty five here, B must have received eleven here. If C received twenty three here, so it does not matter to B. Okay. If C received thirty one, thirty three here, then B must be on the minimum side. If C was on the maximum side, B was on the minimum side. So if C is maximum, then B should get its minimum. Okay. So the answer will be hundred and nine. Most of the students will make a mistake. They will say that uh, B ki toh hum pata hi nahi laga sakte. But this maximum and minimum have a relation. So if one of them is maximum, another has to be minimum. Then only this total will satisfy, right? We found out that total forty-seven have to be distributed. So if C gets twenty-five, then B and D both will get eleven votes. All right. Next question: Find the average of the minimum and the maximum possible number of votes that E could have received in all the five rounds altogether. So we just have to find the average of this. That is one thirty-eight. Which of the following can be the number of votes received by D in all the five rounds together? So, if we did this activity, we can find for this. So, D, if we see these ranges, one twenty one to one sixty four. Okay, so this is all these are out of range. So the answer is one forty three. So this is how we solve this set, which was based on the concept of maximum and minimum. So the rule is simple: if you have to maximize something, we minimize every other thing. If you have to minimize something, we have to maximize other things. And <clears throat> using this partial data, we were able to 
fill the ranges. We cannot determine the exact values. So the question asked could be on maximum or minimum that we were able to answer in this. So I hope you loved solving this set and if you enjoyed the explanation of this video, please don't forget to like the video.